Welcome to my channel or welcome you if you're new. This is Lifestyle with Ola where I talk about lifestyle, luxury, fashion, styling, fitness and everything in between. And in today's video, I'm recreating um, Pinterest looks. I'm actually having a no buy January like I've said in my previous videos. So I'm trying to make sure that my closet goes a long way and I know I have a lot in my closet and I'm trying to rewear and restyle my clothes in different ways. So I picked out six outfits or six yeah six outfits for to recreate in this video so if this sounds like something you're interested in please stay so the first outfit i am i'm looking at my phone so that we can um try to recreate the looks from here and the first outfit and i'll try to make sure i put a picture of what the outfits um look like and what my interpretation or what i have in my closet that will recreate that look and so the first item um the first outfit for this look is this um i think this is a, a blazer a cream blazer it can be leather um looks like a leather skirt in a burgundy and burgundy boots um she styled it with uh burgundy gloves and a burgundy um or ox blood and back to go with it and she has a big brooch on the um on the jacket and then her glasses uh, or sunglasses so i'm gonna create that this look and she has um i think it's probably a knitwear kind of um knitwear inside of the jacket so i'm gonna recreate this look and let's see what it looks like i'm not trying to copy this look exactly as it is i'm just gonna give it my own interpretation so let's go for that first so just as you can see i have my leather skirt in burgundy which i thrifted um a while ago i think hers is in hold on let me get the yeah i have my leather skirt which i thrifted a while ago her um hers is some kind of um it has some sh um flare or shake to it and then she has the gloves and she has the um jacket so i'm gonna grab my uh leather jacket because i think that's what um, will work well with it And hopefully this has been recording because I dropped my mic and so this is what that is looking like now. Um, that's that look. I think she also has the brooch so I'm going to add a, a brooch to it. She has a really big circle one. Um, let's see. I'm not sure I have a big circle brooch. I did used to have a Chanel brooch. So I have my Chanel brooch here. So I'm going to add that as my jewelry to give it um, some sort of dimension. Hopefully I don't put too much holes in this. And the jacket is from a brand. It's a UK based brand. The jacket is a UK based brand which is Jane and Tesh and so and I really love this um, jacket it's very supple if I can just get my yeah the brooch is on now so I think I got that aspect of it and what else Unfortunately, I don't own leather um, leather gloves. Um, I have a no buy generator, so but I've already been eyeing one from Poshmark, and so I'm gonna add my burgundy boots to, you know, complete that look. So my boots are from Zara. Um, I got it. I think it was 2021. Yeah, 2021. So I'm going to take that off and put on the boots. And put that there. So 
I think the look is getting to what hers look like. I need sunglasses and her handbag. I don't have a burgundy bag in that, um, the clutched style, but I'll get sunglasses. And this is the closest sunglasses I have in that shape. This is a Celine Cat High sunglasses. And my bag is up here. I'll reach for it. So I'm just going to hold that. This is a Tory Burch burgundy bag. This is a Tory Burch burgundy bag. So unfortunately, like I said, I don't have uh, gloves. But, you know, this is that look for me. So this is me recreating that look. Let me know what you think. Um, did I do a good job? I mean, something in my closet and I would wear this out. So that's the good thing about, you know, recreating Pinterest looks or looking at Pinterest for um, outfit motivation or inspiration. I, I, I also post mine there and I do see that people pin it or save it. And that's what I've been doing also is just to get something out of... Um, Pinterest I'm making my own so on to the next so one. now that I have my base on for this outfit I'm just gonna add shoes like I said I don't have sandals but I do have um, red boots or red um, uh, pumps so and I think she has she has on uh, sandals like I said so I'm, I'm gonna change she has black sandals so I'm gonna swap that for black uh, pumps or black boot but I think I'll just do the black pumps it's easier shirt is from cos my skirt is Zara and that's about two years ago also uh, my pumps are Ferragamo this is over five years um, I think I got it in 2015 so that's that so that's what this looks like let me see if I can turn on the lights here so it can get some, uh, maybe give it some light over there. So this is what this looks like, and I'm gonna add my blazer. Didn't talk in the back of. I mean, when I'm wearing blazers, really, all I do is talk in the front where you can see. So I'm gonna add my Frankie Shop um, hourglass blazer or fitted blazer. I'm not sure the actual name, but just so because us is so simple and good and I love the way the outfit looks and so um let's see so this is the look this is my interpretation of the look and I'm gonna add my handbag and I don't have a Gucci Dionysus bag but I have this Demelia um clutch so this is gonna be my look um, let me know what you think. I love this look. I can actually wear this out and maybe in the summer. I mean, her slit is in the middle in the front. My slit is on the side. It's a fitted blazer. If I wanted to do it, I make sure that it looks like, um, I mean, this is what look, uh, hers look like. But for me, I like wearing necklaces. But although I have a very big hoop, um, uh, because of my hair, so you can please see. Uh, sign of jewelry but this is what mine will look like this is my interpretation of that look let's put this on that side so you get a clear picture of it this is my look let me know what you think until the next one so I have my base on and this is my Aket, um suit pants and this is my essentials Udi, um, I got as a gift I think about two years ago but I unfortunately you know now that I know I, I have a gap in my closet I don't own any cream or white or very light gray hoodies and you know I, I love you know on a day when you're just lounging at home like on we on the weekends to have your know, complete set of hoodie on so now that I know or jogger set on now that I know that I don't own one and I don't have one that's a gap in my closet so I have this on I'm going to add my, um, I think for this look, I want to add my Sambas. I have a white and red Sambas, or, and I have um, white Air Force, Nike, Air Force One Nikes. So let's add that and add the bag. I'm contemplating between my New Balances or my Sambas with the red stripe. But I think to make this pop, hmm, 
I, I think I want to do the, the red on this will be too much. I think the white will kind of uh, make it look better. So I'm going to add the white. I wish I did have a, I mean, I can change this to be a gray. Where is that? I can change this to be gray, um, gray shoes, but I really love the white of it. And uh, the sneakers have, or the tennis shoes or sneakers have uh, some a little bit of gray on it. But I love the height that this particular um, New Balances give. So I'm five foot five. I'm not sure if I'm filming right, but I am five foot five. So let me wear this, and we can do that. Wow, that took a long time to tie that. So, I'm not sure how that's supposed to look. Let's add the blazer. And she does have um, a black bag. She's olden. And so, and I wish now that, now that I look back, I wish I had a white one. So that's a gap. I, the next time I, I'm shopping, I'm going to have that at the back of my mind to see if that's something I want to add to my closet and so that's that look I think I want to do that I think that's what she did with that so I'm missing the glasses and the bag I'm gonna go back to that um, cut eye sunglasses hopefully I can see that looks good And so, I'm going to opt for my MS Picotin, um, just so that, you know, I have that bucket bag look. Either that, or my pollen bag. I'm not sure which matches it better. I think this matches it better, I'm wearing. So, that's what that look looks like. And if I wanted to, you know, dress it up a bit, this is why I wish it was a lighter gray, or white or cream because then that will look good so this is you know a day of running errands or you know making sure that I'm still wearing a suit but it is I'm still wearing a suit but it is still casual oh my goodness I need to get used to um, the idea of holding a microphone um, because normally I usually put it to my outfits but because I'm changing back and forth this is what this looks like. So hopefully I nailed this look. But this is what I have in my closet. This is, you know, this is the main reason. So the black sunglasses gets this, um, gets the same color from the end bag. The white trainers, you know, probably, you know, puts it all together. If only I was wearing this in white or light gray. So that's the look. On to the next one. So for this next one, I have my base on. I have my um, tall neck sweater is from Massimo Duty. The pants are from Sandro Paris. And I'm going to add a sweater um, because I just want this to look cohesive. Hers is um, all gray monochromatic outfit. With just with that, the touch of black, so I want that to be there because when I do wear my sweaters, I try to have base layers. I want it to be a realistic winter outfit, so I'm gonna add my sweater. So my sweater has been added. It's a very oh, this is warm. So I love the way these layers are, and you know, if I was to be indoors somewhere, this is a good base. Um, this is a good outfit. So I'm just going to add now, I think she had a coat, and uh, she had a coat, shoes, and a black bag. And my sweater, gray sweater, is also from Massimo Duty. So let's do that. I think I want that to be that. I'm not wearing socks. I'm not going anywhere, but if I was going, I'll add black socks to this. And so my toes are not done because it's the winter anyway, so excuse my toes. And I'll be back with the coat. So 
I'm adding my gray coat from I'm adding my gray coat from and other stories. I really really love this gray coat and I love the way this outfit is. I have the um the loafer the Prada loafers. So I think she has hers because she's sitting down you can see it. I have the gray coat and I'm going to get my handbag. So for this, wow. I almost tripped myself. So for this, I have my bag and I'll be good to go. And I can't see if she's wearing earrings or not, but this is what the outfit will look like. Her um, sweater is way uh, more gray than mine, but just in the spirit of all gray and cohesiveness, this still goes. So, and another thing that I've noticed is that this shade of gray or that shade of gray she has on it's a shade of gray in cardigans that i do not have or co um not not in sweaters that i don't own so that's another gap if i was to go shopping i know what i don't have and i know what i have so now i'm making a mental note or i'll, I'll probably will put a note down like when the end of the winter sales are on like real winter sales not what we have in january when the stores are about to make sure things go out i'll put that in i'll purchase one of the um most of the items that i have that are gaps in my closet so that for next season regardless of if they're in season or not because these are classics i'll be able to have that so this is the final look hopefully you like it and i did recreate it okay um let's get ready for the next one it's a brown um, outfit. It's a um, brown, um, I think this is a more of a mocha, not a chocolate brown like I have on. But it's still brown. It's still in the brown family. She has on the brown dress, brown and bag, brown uh, leather boots, and coat, and um, sunglasses to match. So I have my base on. It's a brown um sweater dress from island fisher and i'm i have my uh, leggings um my stockings on and so i'm gonna add my um boots add the handbag in brown hopefully i do have you know maybe i you know it, it's as long as it's all in the same family of you know browns and it's monochromatic then it works so i'm gonna add the brown coat glasses and let's go yeah um let's see so I have this brown boots from uh, Proenzo Schuller. I got it about, I think it was at the end of the beginning of uh, at the end of 2022, beginning of 2023, I think. And I haven't worn it but once. So it's perfect for wearing um, under dresses or skirts. So I'm gonna put it on and let's see what that looks like. So the boots are on, they're very warm and comfortable and they're not too high. I love the heel eyes. I'm not sure why I don't even wear it that much. Um, so I love that look. I'm gonna add my, um, add my brown coat. So coat is on, she doesn't have jewelry on with this not that i can see um so i'm just gonna leave it as plain as that but you know just to personalize that you know i would add jewelry for myself but i'm gonna wear my it's um it's not gonna add to the look or to take from the look but this is what that look looks like so now i'm missing a brown handbag So I have a perfect brown bag that matches this old outfit and it's this one from Dries Van Norten and my coat is a very old one from Jones, New York. I'm sure if you still remember when Jones, New York was in, um, was still like still at stores, at least in my area, I bought it from them years ago. So this is what this look looks like and I love this look. I love my take of this look because she had a, <clears throat> a more lighter brown 
than this and this is my um uh, my take to this look so let me know what you think so I have the base <laughs> I'm trying to not to trip I have the base for the outfit on and this is the Loewe jeans and the Loewe tank top um, I've added my own earrings to this look and so I'm gonna add the, she has on white trainers I'm gonna add my white sneakers or trainers I'm not even sure at this point what it's called I think mine is still very very you know um, long on me it's supposed to be a baggy fit when I bought it I bought it oversized I had it taken in but I should have just bought it because it's already oversized I should have bought it my size but that's not here or there so I'm gonna add the blazer and uh, um, tennis shoes and she has a um, orange um, Birkin bag I don't have a Birkin bag uh, or I no longer own a Birkin or an orange but I have an orange bag from Lueve so my outfit is going to be um, more of a Lueve look and so let me add the tennis shoes I'm going to add my my queens I think they have more platforms on that so to help with the bagginess of the jeans so let's get that it's a hassle holding on to this thing. So I think for now, I'll just put it here. This is the last look. There are six looks to this. This is a, it's really tedious um, trying to do outfit changes um, for, B, uh, for YouTube, but it's worth it, I think. So I'm going to put that there. Um, let me do this. Let's stop being lazy. Okay, that's that, and I'm gonna add my, I'm um, put on my, um, my queens. So now that the jeans are on, I'm gonna add my blazer. So, I got this Bomon blazer like 2012-ish, I think. Um, um, no, was it 2012? Sometime around then when yeah, I think I got a 2012. It's been a it's a very very old blazer But it's still one of those um, um, Beaumont blazers that's you know really cinched in in the waist and Thank God it still fits. The only thing I don't like is that my jeans are too big I, I did add one of those buttons from TikTok that I saw I bought on Amazon so that I can cinch in the waist but when I do that it gives a funny look right there with my jeans so I'd rather have a baggy and then everything else be um, loose on there so let me take this out so it's not blocking and so that's what that look is hers is more of a very long line cinched in blazer I think she either has a um, Saint Laurent blazer but it still gives the shoulder and all of that. And that's that look at my, and, and I'm adding my Lueve bag. That's the look. So this brings me to the end of the video. This is just to show that you can actually shop your own closet. We don't really have to go out to buy items. And if you do find out that like when you keep saving a particular look on Pinterest, you'll find out that maybe that's an item. You don't have that item in your closet or wardrobe, then that means it's an item that you actually do need. And so that's a gap for you if that's what you are gravitating towards. But otherwise, you can look in your closet to see what will suffice, what will make you um, well will make that outfit complete and so it's a way for us to look inward shop our closet stop you know buying things every um here and there i'm so tired of you know i'm on the first on uh, name basis with the ups and fedex people right now and um i haven't seen them in january funny enough i haven't seen them so it's uh, i just made up my mind that for January, I was going to take a break from shopping and buying because I, I have a lot of stuff, really. And now that I've done an inventory, I know what I need. I mean, I have a wish list. And so although my wish list, um, I've noticed that when I do want to buy a big ticket item, I usually go to my wish list. And so for last year, one of my big ticket items was this um, 
this Cartier ring, which I wear on my thumb. And so I love, love this ring. I wear it every day. And so it, I, it's uh, something I've ticked off of my wish list, like a big ticket item. So this look I would wear out, although I would like my blazer to be bigger. Let me try on the Frankie Shop blazer to see if that will do. So I think I like the way the Frankie Shop blazer looks better than the Balmain blazer. The Balmain blazer by now is outdated, but I'm not going to give it up. It's a very good blazer. I paid a lot of money for it, so it still does the job for when I not wear something this oversized. But the jeans, is so, I wish I can do something to it. It's really, really baggy and oversized. I mean, if I sell it, then maybe buy another one or just keep it and wear it as is. And normally I probably wouldn't even wear, it. I, I haven't been wearing tennis shoes with it, or I've been wearing heels with it. I found out that like my dressier jeans, I've been wearing like heels with it and it makes it you know more dressy and it's unexpected. And But I still love this look. This is a total Louisville look. Where's the bag? I've thrown it somewhere. So this completes my video, like I said shop your closet look at pinterest recreate looks i'm also on pinterest i'm lifestyle with ola also on pinterest and you can look me up and if also if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe please give me a like on this video and i'm gonna try and make sure so that i'm encouraging us to shop our closets more i mean i'll still do alls i'll still do my favorites i'll still give you what my wish list is i mean i'm still going to shop but at the same time i'm trying to be more of a conscious shopper um i intentional shopper making sure that i only buy what i'm missing in my closet or if something is like an exceptional item then i'll buy it so that brings me to the end of this video like i'm saying i don't know how to finish it but until next time, stay blessed. Bye.